Hello and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to create two interactive Excel charts. We're going to chart the Weibull distribution's probability density function on the left and its cumulative distribution function on the right. Now the probability density function on the left is a declining function. The Weibull distribution is most often used as a model of time to failure for manufactured parts. And the cumulative distribution on the right goes from a value of 0 to 1. And there are two parameters in the Weibull distribution, alpha, the shape parameter, and beta, the scale parameter. Let's vary those parameters and watch the effect on our interactive Excel charts. So changing alpha from 0.7 to 0.3 changes the chart, and then alpha from 0.3 to 0.9 changes the chart, and then back to our original 0.7 for alpha. Well, let's change beta and watch the effect on the chart. So beta from 4 to 9, then 9 to 2, and then beta back to our original 4. So this is what we're going to create, the interactive Weibull distribution charts. And now we have to create the data for the x and y axes. Let's do that right now, starting with the x axis, time t. And the first number is 0.1 in this column. The second cell contains the previous cell, plus 0.1. And we're going to drag that formula down. Do that by selecting the cell and putting the cursor in the corner of the cell until you see the x, and then drag that cell down in this case until we get to 10. And there's our x-axis data, time t. Let's take a look at the probability density function in cell D40. See that formula? Let's get a close-up of that formula. And the red false indicates that this is the probability density function. Let's take a look at the inputs for that. That would be the two user parameters, alpha and beta, and time t. And the cumulative distribution function in cell C40, let's take a close look at that formula, and the red true indicates in Excel that it's the cumulative distribution function. And the inputs are, hit the precedence button, the two user inputs, alpha and beta, plus time t, and that's what it should be. Remove the arrows. We're going to remove the blue color because we don't want to drag that blue color down. Now we're going to drag those two cells down. Just click on the corner and drag both formulas down all the way down to the bottom until they match the x-axis data. Release it, and now we have our x and y axis data for both charts. So now we're going to create our charts. We're going to start with the probability density function chart. Put our blue color back in there, and to create the chart, just put the cursor anywhere you want. This is Excel 2003. So insert chart. It's an area chart. First variation of the area chart. Next data's in columns, and we're going to add our series of probability density function data, add, and the name, we're going to put a label on that, we're going to label the y data, and in this case, the probability of event occurring at time t for the functions given alpha and beta. Since so it's probability density function, it's occurring at, exactly at time t, the probability of. And once we type the formula in, and hit enter, we will see that label will appear on the chart. Now let's put the values in there. Okay, go highlight all of the probability density function values there. And then hit the red square in the dialog box and we'll see that those values are now put in the chart. Let's do the same thing for the x-axis data. Hit that red square and select all of time t. That would be the x-axis data. Everything in that column we're going to select. Once we've selected it, hit the red square in the corner of that dialog box and we'll see now the x and y data is in there. Hit next and we're going to put the chart title in there. That would be the Weibull distribution, probability density function. And once again, once we type that in there, as soon as we type in that chart title and then hit enter, that chart title will immediately appear in the chart. There it is. And category X, time T. Next, hit finish. Okay. Now we're going to drag our chart up there and put it on top of the existing probability density function. And here's our new chart. We're going to size it properly. There we go. And now we're going to create our cumulative distribution function chart. Okay. Now insert chart area chart, first variation, next, the data is in columns, and let's go get our series of data, add, and the name of the chart, we're going to label that series of Y data, and that label would be 
probability of event occurring up to time t for the functions given alpha and beta. Since, it's, since it is a cumulative distribution function, it's the probability of the event occurring up to time t. Probability density function is probability of event occurring exactly at time t. And as soon as we type in this label and hit enter, it will appear on the chart. There it is. Let's get the data, delete what's in there, hit that square, go get the cumulative distribution function data, highlight everything in that column, and once we do that, hit that little square in the corner of the dialog box, and we did the same thing for the x-axis data, hit that square, and go highlight everything under time t, that's our x-axis, once again. Okay, and once we've selected all of that data, go hit the square in the dialog box there on the right, and the x and y axis data is in the chart. Now we need to put the correct chart title here, and that would be the Weibull distribution, cumulative distribution function. Category x axis, simply time t. Next, finish, and we're going to drag our chart up, put the new chart on top of the old cumulative distribution chart, and then size it properly. There we go. Putting the new chart in there, now we're going to resize it. There we go. Okay, now we're going to vary the parameters and see if we have constructed the chart correctly. Let's change alpha from 0.7 to 0.5. There we go, to 0.9, back to 0.7. And then changing beta from 4 to 7, then 9, and then 2, and then back to 4. Looks like we've made the charts correctly. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of eManuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash eManual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.